What's new in the 25th May build of Derbfest official based on Android 11 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1? Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And we have a new build of Derbfest OS based on Android 11 and the build is from May 25th this of course is an official build security patch is still from May 5th 2021 and the first change you will notice is that they have now switched over to Rex kernel and SE Linux of course is set as enforcing next up if you go into settings and then if you go into display if you go into the option of live display you now have a toggle to enable or disable the reading mode then while we are still in display if you scroll down and you go into switch style you will notice that they have added a new switch style called fluid and they have removed the aosp switch style so this is how your fluid switch style looks like other than that they have also added a new lock screen clock so if you go into styles and wallpapers go into clock scroll down bam they have added a new clock called fluid v2 and this is how the fluid v2 lock screen clock looks like next up they have added a new quick setting tile as well so here are the quick settings and the compass style is the one which has been added then if you start your screen recorder you will now see a toggle to enable or disable the bigger file size limit wherein if you enable it it is going to limit the recording file size to 15 GB next up they have also added the option of hiding the notch so go into settings dev quest and then if you go into the status bar option which is the third one from the bottom go into display cutout you have three different options normal this is how the normal style looks like then you can also choose the immersive style and there it is that is how the immersive style is going to look like and then they have also added the hide option so in this case the notch is totally hidden and the clock and your status bar icons are below the notch immersive style is wherein they will appear in the notch area there it is working without any issues of course you might say that the corners are not rounded but it is what it is then if you go into system and miscellaneous go into general notifications you will see they have added the reticker notifications from descendant rom and these do look pretty cool other than that if you go into miscellaneous they have also added the option of rounding the corners either by using the framework values or you can use this slider to change them now of course it is not changing them in the immersive style i think it will only work when you are using the notch area fully do note the miscellaneous section also has the g visual mod and with the latest build they have also added a toggle to force the brightness values and you can choose your custom ambient and notification brightness so custom ambient display brightness and custom ambient notification brightness once you enable this force custom toggle and it looks like we do have a bug that the gestures are not working all right they're working okay nope so this looks like an issue with the current build let me change the notch style back so we can go into status bar display cutout use the normal style and see if that fixes the issue yep that fixed the issue so there's a bug in the current build if you go into the display cutout and if you're trying to use the immersive style then sometimes the gesture won't work it's working now so I don't know what happened but yes as you can see we did face the issue so those were all the new features which have been added next up let us check for safety net so again device is not rooted just because I have installed magisk does not mean that my device is rooted as you can see magisk says not applicable the app is installed magisk root is not installed check for safety net and as you can see on your screen right now safety net is passing without any issues let us open the google play store as well 
and once we are in the play store we can of course check for play protect certification here it is device is certified this means you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues in terms of youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine no jitters no lags live caption works picture in picture works of course for picture in picture to work either you need to have youtube premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not want to pay for youtube premium next up let us open the google photos application as well try to edit a picture of my favorite football star and see if we have the portrait light feature or not so let us wait for the loading bar to finish and then go into adjust bam here it is portrait light feature is present and it works without any issues now a lot of you have been asking about prime hd issues well that is something which only poco india can fix so do not expect custom roms to fix those issues in terms of app opening animations you can see no jitters no lags recents super fast and super smooth do note that it does come with pixel launcher out of the box so select works screenshot works like a boss as well let us have a look at the google feed there it is no jitters and no lags in the google feed either switch between a few applications again no issues no jitters no lags so as we already have come to know dubfest is a great rom for the poco f1 and the current build is the same and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when I see you.